All right, people, a uh, quick programming note. I occasionally get questions on this, so I wanted to let Windows users know um, that if you are trying to scratch with a MIDI device like this one in uh, on Windows, there's a couple things you need to know. You may have to disable uh, your device and some of the preferences and stuff. So I occasionally get this question. Thank you, uh, Jeffy777 on the Discord brought it up today, and I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably make a video about that. Uh, okay, so... Here we are on Windows. I'm going to briefly bring up Ableton, show you how it's not working, show you the setting that we need to change, uh, explain why, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I've started up Ableton here. I've started up Scratch Track, uh, and then I'm going to open up my MIDI, and I'm looking at my platter, and I want to scratch, and I start playing around with these platters, and I see no MIDI coming in. I can see because down here in the bottom right, this is a MIDI indicator, right? So there's no MIDI getting to the plugin. Now, one way, and back in the old days, the only way that we would deal with this is to route the MIDI through the DAW to the plugin, and then we would see whatever the DAW gave us, which is a problem, uh, and try to use that. This is a problem for a few reasons. For one, it squashes Ableton. Most DAWs squash all of it down to a single channel. They don't give you channel data, which is a pain, because this platter and this platter uh, send exactly the same signal except on a different channel. So we need to be able to disambiguate the channels. Uh, but two, and more importantly, VST3s no longer get CC messages, no longer get control messages. So if you're running this in a modern DAW, you're probably running it as a VST3, which means that the DAW is not going to give you control messages, which is what almost every platter uses uh, for control. So how do we get around this? We get around this with this little thing down here. It says MIDI direct, bypass the DAW. Scratch track, even running as a plugin, is smart enough to connect directly to the MIDI devices. So it can see the MIDI coming off this device and use it in all kinds of ways that most plugins wouldn't be able to do. That's great, and it works really well and really easily on Mac. On Windows, we have a slight problem. The slight problem is that Windows itself doesn't like to uh, let multiple programs uh, use the same MIDI device. So they kind of fight over it, right? So in our case, that means that Ableton has registered and is receiving all the MIDI, but right now Scratch Track is not. So if I want to scratch using Scratch Track in Ableton, what I got to do is go over here to the preferences and turn off DJ Impulse 500 so that it is not being received by Ableton. That frees it up to then go to uh, Scratch Track. Now, I've done that, I move a knob, I still don't see anything, why? Because uh, it refreshes every time I change this drop down. So I'm gonna look and see, maybe I can make it auto refresh, but I don't think uh, Scratch Track actually knows that anything changed, so I don't think I can auto refresh. So let me just change it to Impulse, there it works. Now I'm gonna change it back to All, it's still working. Okay, so I've changed that setting, I am now receiving MIDI. You can see it coming in right here, as well as right here. Right uh, down in this box is the live uh, view of what's coming in. So you can check very quickly that you're getting all the sorts of things that you should be getting. Uh, and then you can MIDI learn. And there we go. You can see my platter. Well, I can't probably see it here. But the platter now moves, and it moves uh, just as you would expect it to in Ableton. So. That's it. All good to go. Uh, I should note also now that now you save the project when you reopen it because it remembers not to use this device. Ableton won't use this device. You shouldn't have to do that whole turn it off, turn it off thing more than once. Just do it once, save the project, and you're good to go. And that'll be your scratching project. All right. Happy scratching, y'all.